Well, folks, that didn't take long at all. I can't believe it. I just put the line in. Claudio's not even set up yet with his rig. Whoa. And we're on the fish already. We're out here for salmon today. We're fishing Lake Ontario. And we're running the Viper Spoons. And I got to tell you, it hasn't been... I must have put it right onto him because we just started trolling like 60 seconds. It's a great day here on Lake Ontario. He's got some strength to him. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, 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 it's a nice fish. Oh, he just, oh, he just realized he's been hooked, I think. Beautiful salmon. Oh, yeah. Oh, peel and drag big time. I better lighten up on the drag. Wow, these fish are strong. It's early spring. It's the month of May. Oh. And I'll tell you right now, folks, these salmon are really, really strong. Wow. Oh, he's going where he wants to go. Let's see if I can bring him back around here. This is a battle, unbelievable. This is phenomenal. I don't want them to break off. I'm running 12 pound test line. I've got a 12 pound test floor carbon leader on there. Okay, there's my diver right there. I'll show you my setup as soon as I land this guy, if I can land him. He just doesn't want to come in. Come on, Mr. Salmon. I can't lighten up on my drag. If I do, he'll definitely cut me off. They're very, very powerful. So, oh, as you're fighting these fish, of course, you always want to loosen up on your drag as you get closer because you've got less line out there and there's a lot more tension, a lot more tension on your line. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's still peeling drag on me, folks. Oh, back down he goes. And they're feeding on smelts big time. Oh. Okay, I think I may have him now. Maybe. Maybe. My little bass net here. Oh, that's a beautiful salmon. Come on, Mr. Salmon. There we go. Landed. Oh, that's a beauty. Whoa, look at the size of this fish. Let me get him out here. Okay, let me get him out. There's a salmon for you folks right there. That is one beautiful, beautiful salmon. Oh, take these glasses off. Oh, he's gotta be 20, gotta be 20 pounds. Easily, easily 20 pound fish right there. That's a beautiful salmon. Okay. Gold Viper Spoon, folks. Gold works great on cloudy days. Silver works great on sunny days. Gold has much better reflective qualities on cloudy days. And as I said, the silver-based lures have better reflective quality on sunny days. But there is one nice salmon right there, folks, and I gotta tell you, that is a great way to start our day. We didn't even wake up early this morning. It's about uh, it's 9.30 in the morning. We just put our lines down. I'm gonna put him in the box and I'll show you exactly what I was using and how I was fishing. Okay, folks, we got that salmon in the live well. I'm just gonna show you my setup here. I told you I was using the gold viper spoon and uh, if you've never used the viper spoon, folks, they're designed to fish with bait and they really give you an advantage. In this case, I'm using an artificial bait here. It's a minnow imitating bait. These the salmon are feeding on smelts. You could run a herring bait on here, a strip bait. I'm running artificials. This one happens to be scented, so you create a scent trail. Either way, you can't go wrong. It's a big advantage to use your bait, and that's what the Viper Spoon is all about. I'm using the bucktail model, although the beaded model works just as well. And um, basically, it's the size SP4 that I'm running today. I'm running them because they've got uh, nice hooks, which uh, a nice uh, hook gap on there, which will allow me to uh, set the hook nicely. And uh, if you've never used the Viper Spoons before, we'll put a link down here for you in case you want to check them out on the store. In the meanwhile, I'll also show you what I'm doing here. Now, these salmon, it's early spring. We're fishing in 50, 60 feet of water. 
and I've got a diver down here. No, no, uh, um, no downriggers today. Downriggers, if you got to go down 60, 70, 80 feet, 100 feet deep when you're fishing for salmon in the summer, you need them. But right now, you don't. And uh, in fact, all I'm doing is I've got this diving device here. It's actually called a jet diver. And uh, this one is rated for 30 feet. So this will dive 30 feet down. And I've got about, I got a little too much line here, I think. I got about six feet of line to my Viper Spoon. And uh, all that's going to happen is I put this down, let's fire up the boat, let's put it in gear. And what will happen is that diver, this diver here, is going to take my lure down. Takes my Viper Spoon right down. And the Viper Spoon is going to be flashing and fluttering with that bait down there. This will take it down to 30 feet. I'll let out about, you know, 100, 200 feet of line. I'll put the line away back there, put the rod in the rod holder, and then just start uh, trolling away. Okay, so now we're set up. We're trolling away. I'm in 53 feet of water. And what I want to mention, just a couple things. That uh, Viper Spoon, I didn't tie it direct to the li my line. I always use a snap to the Viper Spoon. And the snap will allow the Viper Spoon to maximize its action. And the length of line I had off that jet diver, I had a little too much, especially if I'm landing that fish by myself. Four feet would have been enough. I've got more like six feet. So four feet off of a diver, that's, that's plenty of line. And the beauty, what I like about these Viper Spoons is I could take that same Viper Spoon and head out saltwater fishing if I want next week and, and use it for, for fluke or flounder or stripers or blues. Uh, very versatile lure. So we're set up here now. Two lines in the water. Beautiful day. It's supposed to start raining soon as long as the thunderstorms don't come. If the thunderstorms come, we're going to have to pull off the water, but hopefully we'll get at least another hour or two out here. Well, folks, it looks like the weather got the better part of us today. The fog has moved right in. We've got some drizzle, drizzle happening here. So I think we're going to call it a day. My lucky Viper Spoon hat put me into a beautiful uh, salmon a little earlier, so I'm happy with that. If you like these kind of hats, folks, uh, that's a nice, comfortable one. It's got the Viper Spoon logo on it. I can put a link for you here if you're interested, but it's a very comfortable hat. I loved it today. Maybe it brought me a little bit of luck, but we had a great day out here. Viper spoons, strip of cut bait or artificial bait, any scented bait. Looks like the lighthouse is uh, calling us in. Foghorn's going with this fog happening, but we had a great day out here nonetheless. And uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.